Hello, today I'd like to go over the basic life cycle of the pteridophytes. Pteridophytes would be things like the ferns. Um, normally, whenever you see a fern, it is in this sporophyte stage. And the sporophyte stage is a typical fern. They also like wet, kind of dark places. And if you look up under the leaves of these pteridophytes, over there, under the ferns, you will see these little uh, capsules, these spore capsules. Inside each one is just a cluster of spores, little baby ferns, you might say, and they'll release, the wind will carry them, they'll land somewhere in the forest, and they will grow into this unique little thing called a gametophyte stage. And what's unique about it is it looks like a little tiny leaf, it's not very big, maybe an inch or two across, and it has the male and the female parts both on this same little leaf-like thing. I've actually seen it, you know, out in the forest when you're walking around, look down in kind of dark, wet places, and you might see something like this at certain times of the year. And of course, the males are producing sperm, the females have the egg, and at some point, whenever it's uh, wet or if the wind blows, they can work their way over to where the female egg is, and they will fertilize it, and of course, grow into that first cell called a zygote, and the zygote will then grow up out of the female part and turn into this sporophyte stage that has the complete number of chromosomes and the life cycle will just keep repeating over and over again. So it's a pretty basic life cycle, but the key thing that to remember is in the it mainly found in the sporophyte stage, that's usually the dominant stage of its life cycle, and the gametophyte stage has both male and female parts on it.